Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Vicki Hughes, and I'm happy you're here with me. I am making lemon curd for you tonight, mm -hmm. and I want to share a little bit about it. I'm actually going to make it into a pie tonight because a friend told me about a ginger snap crust to use with the lemon curd. Now, being a Pampered Chef consultant, I love trying new things. So, come along with me and let's see how we make this. It's really simple and we make it in our cooking blender, the Pampered Chef Deluxe Cooking Blender. And I will be pulling this where you can see it as I'm working on it. And then we'll push it to the side while it's cooking in the blender. I love this thing, I use it all the time. Um, I was gonna introduce you to my little sous chef, but she seems to have scampered away. So if she comes back, I'll, show, I'll introduce you to her. Now, lemon curd is made with eggs, sugar, butter, lemons, and lemon zest, and a little bit of whipping cream. Does that kind of like mine a little fluffy? So the first one we're gonna do is zest a couple of lemons. And I think my, my recipe I know calls for a tablespoon of lemon zest, and two lemons is usually about two tablespoons, about a tablespoon. So, I'm going to zest, and be sure you don't get the white. The white's bitter, but be sure when you're zesting you get as much of the zest off as possible without going into the white of the lemon. We're also going to be using about three lemons. But for the zest, here we go. Now, I haven't introduced you in any of my demos to our new lemon zester or citrus zester and juicer. It's a little bit bigger than the older one that we had. Um, making it a little easier to handle, to um, work on your recipes. And it's also got a strainer on the end of it so it's easy to pour and not get the seeds. Okay, that's one lemon. It usually takes about three lemons to make three quarters of a cup. And that's what my recipe calls for is three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. And when we get this done, we're just going to put it right in the cooking blender. Now when I'm doing this and you're not watching me, sometimes I'm not measuring everything out. I do know that two of the lemons makes a tablespoon of zest. Um, while you're watching, if you see comments come on, if you'll put your finger in the middle of the screen and push them to the right, they'll go away. You can come back and look at them later, but for right now, the comments will go away and you won't miss anything that I'm doing. Okay. I hope you can see that. About a tablespoon of zest. And I'm just going to put it right into our blender. Got the knife. I love all of our tools. Working in the kitchen, if you've got good tools, it makes 
work a lot easier. Um, makes it a lot more fun. There's nothing like looking around for something and you don't have it. Um, I am a Pamper Chef consultant, so my kitchen is pretty full of everything. So if there's something that you would like to see, let me know. And if there's a demo that you would like me to do for you, if you'll send me a private message or comment on a post, I'll see what I can do to do the demo for you and tag you on it. I hope you're enjoying the party you're in. Be sure you've checked all of it, you've checked all posts on your notifications so you'll see everything we do. I hate for you to miss anything. Look how clean the lemon is. This will strain the pulp and the seeds. And let's get one more. I've already washed them. Some of these are a little small. So I might have to use an extra one to get three quarters of a cup. There's a little trick on lemons. You stick them in the microwave for about 10 seconds before you juice them. You get so much juice. I used to just roll mine. use a microwave much anymore. Um, it's actually in an electronics pantry because I use the air fryer all the time to reheat food and to, to cook in. I do love my air fryer. Let's see how much we've got now. This is our one cup fret bowl. I use them a lot of times. They have measurements on the outside. I need just a little, about a half of a little more. Actually, can pour like this, and if there's any pulp or anything, it'll strain it out for you. Okay, we have our lemon. Now, our recipe calls for a cup of butter, and I went ahead and set this out to soften. It makes it easier blender's not clunking around cold butter. I also thought it'd make it quieter. <laughs> I love the taste of lemon. Now, this recipe is so easy and it's so quick and I do it on the sauce mode. Remember, we're going to add eggs, but we're not going to add the eggs to start with. So we've got our butter, our lemon juice, and our zest. So now we're going to put our sugar, or in my case, swerve. And I use about three quarters of a cup, and I use a couple squirts of vanilla stevia. Just a couple squirts and an ounce of heavy whipping cream. Okay, 
what we do at the top. And we're going to turn the blender on. Put the lid on. Did you hear it? And I'm going to set the dial to sauce mode. It's warming up. And it's going to be blending and blending. It'll warm a little bit and blend and it'll melt the butter right in the blender. Now, I'm gonna need some eggs. So, What I use is usually four and five eggs. I use two whole eggs. And then I'm gonna use three egg whites. handy dandy thing to split the egg whites. Okay, can you see? It's leaving the yolk intact and taking the egg white out. And I'm going to save these egg yolks and use them for something else. Now sometimes your eggs are a little small. These are actually uh, eggs from the farmer's market and yesterday they were a little small. So I'm actually going to use one more real little small egg. Now I'm going to use the whole egg. We're going to whisk these around a little bit. These are our whisks, the small and the large. You can get them in a set or you can get them individually. I like the small whisks. They have just brought the small one back to, to us. And one thing I didn't mention, my recipe says unsalted butter and um, some sea salt. Instead of doing that, I just usually use salted butter. Just gonna break this up a little bit. Just so you can see. Our mixture is coming along. The butter is starting to melt and it's whipping it as we go. Some lemon curd are kind of clear and usually that's when you're using clarified butter on the stove. I actually like to use just plain old regular butter in my recipe. And these are our three egg yolks that I'll use later. Just put a top on that. Now, while we're waiting, um, 
If you have a question for me, please let me know. I can see your comments and answer them. Um, thought I heard Zoe coming in. Zoe, would you like to meet the folks? Zoe. Come here, Zoe. When I don't want her to, she's right under my feet. Isn't that the way with all kids? Whether they're fur babies or not. Um, I am going to put a plug in there for adopting a pet next time you're looking for one. We have two rescues. I have two rescues. Two cats. And the dog, who is the smallest one of all, thinks she's the boss of the family. So, you'll meet Zoe later. We're getting close to adding the eggs. Now, because of Ruby, or because of our host that I'm working with right now, and our new consultant, I actually did a ginger, a ginger snap crust. Most of my recipes are keto, low carb. The crust is not on this particular one. Um, and this is our deep dish pie plate. And it is actually the glazed stoneware. And all the stoneware is back in stock. So if you were looking for stoneware before and it was out of stock, the new kiln's up and running and the stoneware is back. Now, You've always got great announcements. I hope you'll go to my name above this post and click on it and follow me. I've always got great recipes that I'm putting in there or tips, um, easy things to do, and specials that are going on. So click on my name and follow me. I go live usually uh, two or three times a month. So if you can join me when I'm doing a live, please do. Ask me questions. Talk to me a little bit. Let me know what you think about what I'm making. Ooh, it's coming along good. You can see how, more li how liquid it is now. The butter is melting and it's blending with the whipping cream. And I'm not having to do anything to it. I am not having to sit there and whisk, 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 whisk. Which is what I used to do with lemon curd before I got this amazing deluxe cooking blender. I make soups. I make an incredible protein packed chocolate pudding. I make, um, oh my gosh, I just make so much. I make my creamer. And if you go on my page, then you will see the pumpkin spice latte creamer. Oh my gosh. Please go on it and see it and try it. It's wonderful. I actually got the inspiration from a little bistro in Florence, right outside the Domo. Um... When I came home from Europe, then I couldn't find anything that tasted anything like it. So I ended up having to make it. Been drinking it ever since. Pumpkin's great for you. And it's a strong aromatic coffee that I put it in. And it's just a great way to start your morning. A lot of people like pumpkin just in the winter time or in the fall. But not me. I like it year round. So I cook all kinds of things with pumpkin. Um, you'll also find a pumpkin custard on there with candied pecans on it. That's a real good recipe. We're coming along. We're at 120 degrees and it's going to get up to about 160. And some people have been asking me what's the difference in this cooking blender and the Vitamix. Um... The, there's two big differences. This cooking blender cooks hotter. The degrees are higher. Um, it has more functions on it. Well, there's three. 
There's one difference is this picture is glass rather than plastic. And the Vitamix is about two and a half times more expensive. So hope that answered the question of those who were asking me what the differences were. Um, I am never sorry that I got this. I use it almost every day. Um, now, one of the things that I like making the most in it, it's going to sound funny, is my peanut butter. Yes, peanut butter. I love fresh peanut butter. And it takes about three or four minutes to make. And you get the best tasting peanut butter around. And it's natural. It doesn't have any preservatives in it. I keep peanut butter in the house. As a matter of fact, I went and got a jar, a few jars of peanuts because I ran out today. Let's see how we're doing. We're coming along. Now, do you have any questions for me? Please ask. I know it's Sunday night. A lot of people aren't watching live tonight. Let's see, I've got a question. Hi, Ricky. Yeah, he says, I love lemon curd. I love lemon curd, too. Uh, lemon meringue pie made out of the lemon curd, or just by itself, or maybe... Let's do this while we're waiting. Should have thought about this. I love it with whipped cream. How about you? We've got a couple minutes. So let's just make some whipped cream. Now you've seen me make whipped cream. I do a lot. And for something like this, I like it a little stiff, so I'm gonna put a little cream of tartar. Just a little bit of cream of tartar, not much. It's our whipped cream maker. I think everybody's seen the whipped cream maker. You know, it's one of the oldest. It's, well, I can't say it's the oldest. The stones are the oldest products. Um, there's a fill line on the whipped cream maker. And I put a little, just a touch, of skinny syrup. of a teaspoon of cream of tartar and these are our adjustable measuring spoons and it's about right now this is something if you have kids in the house that they'll love doing is making the whipped cream. It's fast and easy. It's fun. And it's not that canned stuff. You know what you're getting when you're using heavy cream right out of the refrigerator. I also need some whipped cream because I was at the farmer's market doing a show yesterday and I got some fresh strawberries. Oh my gosh. They smell amazing. All the way home I could smell them in, in the truck. So I'm going to have, after we get through, I'm going to have some whipped cream on my strawberries. Okay. Let's see. Now I am going to make a meringue when I finish tonight and I will post you the pictures. 
but because I've never made meringue before, I kind of didn't want to do it live. Afraid I might mess up. No, I'm pampered, not perfect. But I did want you to see the one curd. Let's see how we're coming. Now, I like, like I said, I put a little cream of tartar, just a little bit, in the whipping cream so that it'll be really stiff. Y'all, look at the whipping cream. Mm -hmm. I could just eat it with a spoon. Kind of like ice cream. It's about what it tastes like. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side and see where we are. We're getting there. We're only about three or four degrees before we add the eggs. So I'm going to move this in a little bit. So you can see it. And I haven't had to touch it. I can do lots of other things while this is working. That's what I like about this blender. It takes the time that I have to stand over a hot stove and just takes it away. It does work for me. It also has a function on here where it has a hot, a heated wash mode. And on that mode, you put a little water in it a few drops of dishwashing detergent and turn it on and it cleans itself. I don't know if you're like me, but anything that cleans itself is great. Um, I hate washing dishes. Yeah, mom, I know, I'm a messy cook. I know she's out there watching, so I'll admit that every day. When I get cooking in the kitchen, sometimes the counters are totally full. But I can tell you, since I became a pampered chef consultant, my pampered, my, because I'm not having to pull out so many different things for different jobs, I'm able to use things over and over again. I seem to be a lot more organized now. Um, and having a lot more fun doing it. <laughs> I do like developing new recipes. So the recipe, most of the recipes you'll see posted are my own. One more degree and it should heat at us. The pitcher is very warm to the touch right now. I wouldn't hold it, it's, you know, I could touch it, but, and it's not gonna burn me, but at this point it's 100 and, almost 160 degrees, and you are careful with it. Now you don't immerse, that is the one difference where the Vitamix has an advantage. Their base comes off, and you can wash the plastic pitcher in soapy water. This one, you do not immerse the bottom. You just put your, you just self clean it, take it to the sink, rinse it out, dry it off, put it back on the, the base. To me, that's not a problem. It actually gets me cleaned up a whole lot faster. Come on, baby. See. Do we have any other questions out there? Y'all ask me some questions. Well, when you're in your party, I want you to make sure that you go and play the games and make comments. We're always giving prizes away. So the more you comment and the more games you play, the better ch your chances of uh, winning a grand prize at the end. I thought I saw, heard Zoe. Zoe! <sighs> okay, she's disappeared again. She's camera shy tonight. She's usually just running around under my feet. Come here, Zoe. Let's let the folks meet you. Come here. 
This is Zoe. And believe me, she rules the place. And the two cats. And pretty much me too. <laughs> but she's my sweetheart. She's my sous chef. She's usually under my feet. And anything I drop, she grabs and runs with it. Because mom says it's not good to eat table food, doesn't she, baby? So she likes to play under my feet and grab whatever I drop. And believe me, I drop things. But Zoe, tell the folks hi. All right, see you later. Go be good. Now I have to wash my hands. Now, you don't want to add the eggs too soon because you don't want them scrambling. You want the lemon juice and the heat combined to cook your eggs smooth. And it's real important to do it that way. And so we've got our egg whites and our whole eggs. Okay, I've got some people asking some questions. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Hi, Mom. Mom is Zelna, if y'all are wondering when you see her name up, up there. Remember, you can put your finger on the picture and swipe the comments to the right and they'll go away. Okay, said Ed. We're ready. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to start because I don't want the eggs just sitting in the mixture. Notice I took the cover of the top off. off of the blender. But if you can see it now, it's blending the lemon curd, very smooth. Um, it won't go over 200 degrees because we don't want the eggs to scramble. One of the things I like to make in this blender is my bechamel sauce. Now, I know that sounds a little fancy, but bechamel is a white sauce, and it's so easy. And the recipe can be found on my Pamper Chef pa Facebook page. So again, go to my name when we're through, click on it, and follow my page. losing its heat. Now this is cooking and blending the eggs into the mixture. Now, do I have any questions out there? Let's see. Let me see if I can see them. I need glasses on. That far away, I can't even see it with glasses.
Y'all are so sweet. Cindy, you're sweet. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your life. It's almost finished. ginger snap crust. Oh, and the ginger snap crust. I can tell you how I made it. I smashed ginger snaps. Let me tell you something. Smashing ginger snaps is not like smashing graham crackers. Those things are hard as they can be. Alright. I know. They're probably going to taste amazing when it's done. But... I actually had to get the blender out and put it on grind in order to get the ginger snaps browned up. And I used two tablespoons of butter, just like you normally would on a graham cracker crust, and pushed it to the side into the, into the pie shell. Let's see how this is looking. Gosh, that tastes amazing. I love lemon curd. It's so fresh, and especially in the spring. Right now, we've got so many amazing fresh vegetables out there. The quality of what you eat makes so much difference in your life. And with great tools in the kitchen, it's easy to do. Now I cook for one. However, I don't really know how to cook for one. So I cook four meals and I go ahead and put them in individual um, servings and vacuum seal them. And that way I'll have them ready to cook when it's time, when, I, when I'm running short of time, which I do quite often. I don't know if you're like me or not, but a lot of times your day doesn't go just like you expected it to. And you come in and you've got to make something. Well, having your prepping done, having things that are already made, makes life a whole lot easier. And you stay on track and still eat nutritious, great foods. Now this is our crust. Now again, I'm not making the meringue tonight, uh, at least on the air. I'll make it tonight and post a picture of it. See how close they're really close. I keep expecting it to beep any second so we can pour it up. Actually at 170 degrees and I'm fixing to put this on smoothie and let it smooth out really good and go ahead and pour it out for you because that means 170 degrees means the eggs are cooked and the lemon juice will keep cooking them and thickening the sauce so I'm gonna cancel put it on smoothie One
up. I'm actually going to save some of it just for me without the crust. Look at how pretty it is. So smooth, creamy. Cover the crust. And we'll put me some. And this is a little warm. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good and refreshing. There we are, our lemon curd. Don't forget to put your finger and swipe the comments. I want to see it. Hope you see it. And here is our pie. You know, I just licked off of that spatula. I need a scraper. So, let's get another one. Take the bubbles out. So that's not bubbles, that's pieces of ginger snap coming up. Now that's a spatula. <laughs> I'm a kid sometimes when I'm cooking. Why can't cooking be fun? Okay. Here's our lemon pie. And I'll put the meringue on it a little bit later. And I'll send you a picture. Have a great night. Give somebody a smile and be happy. You never know when it's going to make their day. Have a great week and be sure and come on to the party frequently and post and make comments, ask questions, um, play the games and have fun. That's the most important thing. If you need help with any order, please contact me or your host and we'll help you with anything we can. So have a good night. I've loved having you with me and see you later.